One, zero, zero, and lift off. Roger roll, with landing. Open uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. For me, it's just about being something and you know, being a part of something that's bigger than yourself. Uh, being a soldier is, certainly falls into that category. Uh, we're always working for the team, we're always working for a bigger unit and a nation. So to me, it's awesome being a soldier, knowing that it's not about me, but it's about the team. Uh, first of all, you need to study uh, things like math, science, engineering, technical background kind of things, okay? So that's your first um, deal. You need to have a bachelor's degree and usually a master's degree at least in any one of those types of fields to be competitive to be an astronaut. Um, there's other requirements as well, so I encourage you to look up those online. Uh, there's some health requirements that you need to have, uh, some height requirements and those kind of things. But in general, you just got to have a good, solid background in math, science, engineering fields and technology fields. Uh, be willing to go uh, live in some place that doesn't have a lot of amenities. That's probably another one. And to be uh, someone that can work well with a team and work well with others and not completely annoy people because you're in a very small space for like six months at a time. So uh, you gotta be someone that works well with them. Hey, I have something else to add to the earlier question about how, you know, any advice on becoming an astronaut. So bottom line is you need to find something you're passionate about and go after it. Um, and hopefully that'll, that'll guide you to be an astronaut down the road. Uh, well, there are some pretty good opportunities I've gotten uh, based on this position. But in general, I'm no different than I was before. I'm still a dad. I'm still a husband, uh, I still have to take out the trash, you know, all those fun things like that. So I'm just a normal person that has a pretty cool job and gets some pretty neat opportunities. Uh, I think if I could visit any planet uh, besides Earth, which is amazing, uh, I'd like to go to Mars. Uh, I think when we get to go to Mars here in, in a little while, um, I'll be a little too old for that. So maybe uh, somebody that's a high schooler right now, middle school age, are going to be the first people going to Mars. Uh, for me, is going to church, first of all, with my family, then we'll go out to eat lunch somewhere. Uh, and then get back at least this time of year to watch some football or some golf in the afternoon uh, and then just spend time together as a family. And I think what surprised me the most was how much studying I had to do. I thought maybe once I was done with graduate school I didn't have to take tests and study anymore. Not the case, so we have plenty of that going on uh, in order for us to learn all the systems about the spacecraft that we might be flying on. Uh, first of all, the very first tip I think is extremely important is to set the example. So you as a leader, you have to do everything you're going to ask any of your subordinates to do, uh, no matter how dirty or, or nasty the job or the task is. So set the example for one, uh, be technically and tactically competent. You probably heard that if you're around the Army at all. But you got to be proficient in whatever your skill is. So if you're a pilot, you got to be proficient in the aircraft. If you're a mechanic, you got to be proficient in, in fixing whatever it is you're working on. So uh, make sure you're studying knowing everything you can about whatever the system is you're doing. So those are a couple tips for you. Set the example and be proficient. Uh, there's several different routes to get there these days. Uh, the military is one route. That's obviously the path that I chose. Uh, but also we have astronauts that are doctors and teachers, scientists and engineers. So you come from all different kinds of backgrounds, which is great because everybody has strengths and weaknesses and you like to draw from the strengths of different types of people. Uh, so my route, I came through the Army as a helicopter pilot was my background. Uh, applied several times to be an astronaut. I think I finally wore them down enough towards the end that they selected me in 2004. That's an easy question for me. When I was a small child, the astronauts were landing on the moon, so watching that 
um, really as a nation. Uh, we did that back then around black and white TVs. Um, truly inspired me to want to do something uh, along those lines. And you know, that doesn't mean I'm gonna be an astronaut, but I always wanted to do it my whole life. I kept working really hard. I wasn't the smartest kid, uh, but I kept working really hard, getting help where I needed to, and uh, obviously gave me an opportunity at least to be an astronaut based on my qualifications. My primary aircraft in the Army was the H-64 Apache helicopter. Uh, I did get a chance also to go to the Army fixed wing course, so I learned how to fly uh, planes and jets as well. So I uh, had, a, had a pretty nice deal flying C-12s in the Army just in the course, and that transfers over to NASA where I'm getting to fly T-38 jets. Well, I was only in one. Uh, we did not scramble when I was there like the, a lot of the cadets did. Justin's a 2016 graduate, so I'm not sure if they scrambled or not. But the best company is clearly D1. Go Ducks. And, uh, but we're all on the same team, right? So go Army West Point. <laughs>